Welcome to France! Val Torrens to be precise and we are currently in Le Val Torrens Hotel which by the way is gorgeous. I filmed a, um, just a little mini room tour on our arrival yesterday which I will clip into. Um, but yeah yesterday we arrived although it's like a, a short really easy flight just to Geneva you then have like the two and a half transfer in the car up the mountains um, and then you go and collect your ski hire so it's like quite a full-on day so we were absolutely exhausted last night we basically just we went out for dinner to a place called Le Maison and um, had a couple of glasses of wine came home and we were literally in bed for I think half past nine we were in bed which is the earliest we have been in bed in months <laughs> so feel very refreshed today we've been up we've been for breakfast i'm in my robe because i'm going to the spa today darren has his first ski lesson this morning so while he's at a ski lesson i'm going to go check out the spa i'm booked in for a back shoulder and head massage and i'm just going to like take my book have a little swim um and really just relax and then i'm going to come back and i'm going to get ready and then i'm going to attempt skiing dad post Darren's lesson so maybe he can like feedback what he learns um, and be my instructor so yeah that is the plan for today so I will clip into the little room tour from yesterday apologies for the lack of enthusiasm as I mentioned we were so tired um, so I feel like it's probably going to be very minimal energy um, but yeah the hotel is lovely actually Darren told me that this is the same chain of hotels as the Gritty Palace, which we stayed in in Venice, which was the most luxurious hotel we've ever stayed in, ever, and probably ever will do. Um, but it's, I believe, part of the same chain. So I found that super interesting, which explains why the toiletries were diptyque here. <laughs> so as you come in the front door, it's kind of like a little foyer, hallway type of thing. And we've got all of our storage and places to hang all our stuff up. The good thing with these ski resorts is they're always so much storage because obviously your stuff is really chunky. Good place to keep our suitcases. And in here is our cute little bathroom. Hello. Love these tiles. Little toilet area, fluffy robes. This is all diptyque, which makes me extremely happy. Great lighting for doing makeup and stuff. Then a little shower again with diptyque. So we come out here and then film length mirror. And then in here is our cozy little room. A nice cozy size. Love the kind of tongue and groove paneling and wall lights. Death will take an inspo. Again, more storage. This is like a nice, I think it's a super king bed. Love this chair also. And then out here, this is the first time we've ever really been low down on our balcony. Um, but I quite like it because it's a nice little town. Um, so if I open this up, this is our views of a little town. Little market's going on down there. And we'll be up there tomorrow. Now if this isn't a view from your spa, then what is? Like, come on. The perfect spot to sit and read my book whilst looking out onto this. So I'm in the spa, it's finally nice and quiet. Excuse my hair, I've just been for a swim. <laughs> um, when I first came in, there was hundreds of kids and I was like, kill me now. <laughs> like. You come to a spa resort to relax and there was literally about 20 kids playing volleyball and I was like, get out, get out, get out. So I left and I just sat and read my book in like a little quiet area that had candles and stuff, so that was nice. Um, but now it's quiet, so I've just went for a wee swim and I'm gonna relax. My treatment's in 15 minutes. But like the views from this spa, I don't know if that will focus, but are just insane. Like you could just sit here and watch people go up and down the mountain all day. Like that's my favourite part about skiing trips is watching other people ski. Um, 
I am feeling a bit nervous now about going and skiing um, on the drive up, which was the most scenic route ever. It was gorgeous. When we started to see like the ski lifts and people skiing, my heart was going, and I was like, "Why am I doing this to myself? Why am I here?" <laughs> but like for me, I can't quit on something. Like I would happily not ski again, but if Darren says we're going back to a ski resort, I couldn't just not ski. So. My nature is very much like, try, try, try again. So, I'm gonna try again today and see. Um, the good thing is, this resort here, I actually much prefer compared to Austria because there's not like a lot of walking. Like, we basically just leave the back end of our hotel and the nursery slopes are right there. So, there's not a lot of hassle of walking around with all your heavy equipment. Um, so I much prefer staying further up the mountain than staying at the bottom of the mountain and having to travel up on the gondola. Um, so that's one bonus. Um, we also checked out the hotel bar, which is insane. I think we're going to go there later, so I'll show you. But it's like a little veranda that looks over the mountains. There's like fur, fur throws over all the seats and stuff. It's just so, so nice. Um, so yeah, I'm going to sit with my book for the next 15 minutes, get a massage, and then cure myself up to go skiing. Okay, we are post spa, post shower, and ready to get ready for the day. Um, that was the most needed massage in a long time. It was literally like, <laughs> I was just crunching everywhere, knots everywhere. So now I feel like two feet taller. You know when they do that thing where they go right up your spine? I feel like she is literally elongating me with every <laughs> stroke. So I feel, I feel great. I think I'm going to book back for, uh, they do like a Guisha Glow Facial. Um, I think I'm going to go back for that because that sounds delightful. Um, while I remember, my necklace is in this pocket. Um, obviously you have to take your jewellery off and last time I put my necklace in my pocket at a spa, I threw the, the dressing gown in the washing basket and the maid took it and that was a Tiffany necklace down the drain so get that on my neck so I'm gonna do my skincare now obviously we're up the mountains it's very cold my skin is already feeling dry um I didn't have anything in the house so I picked up this simple hyaluronic acid um serum right before I left so I'm going to start with that just to get some good old moisture then Seems more like a like a um, sun cream rather than a moisturizer, so I'm hoping this will do the job. So while that seeps in, I am just going to mix up like I've been using my By Terry CC serum mixed with my Hourglass foundation, and together it's like a really nice combination of like glowy coverage, but not like a full face. So I'm going to do that today. Um, a little bit of bronze, very basic, but I still want to look nice because because why wouldn't me? So I buff that in, I basically mix them together, put it in my hands like a moisturiser and then just rub it on my face with my hands, which I know that's a bit controversial, but I feel like it's the best coverage and the way to use the least amount of products. And then I just get a wet sponge and dampen it into my face so it blends out nicely. Then I got a new concealer before I left. I was on the hunt for the um, the Huda Beauty one, but I didn't have my shades. So then the um, sales assistant gave me the It Cosmetics one. She said everyone was raving on about it. It's quite hard to come out. Like you have to give it like a good um, a good squeeze to get it out. And she said it was like really good, really high coverage. It says on it that it's waterproof, but. I'm not sold on it yet, but we have nothing else to work with, so that'll have to do. One thing that I have found with this one is that um, you have to like set it instantly, otherwise it creases, but then I think once it's set, it doesn't crease, but the first day that I wore it, I didn't set it and then it was all creased, um, so that's on. 
button and it gives a nice coverage and brightening under the eye. That's it on <clears throat> and supposedly it's meant to have a nice little glow so it's not too cakey um, but I'm going to set it with the Charlotte Tilbury finishing powder before it cracks and then anyone else that I get a shine which will be everywhere today because I will be sweating and crying as I fall down the mountain. So I filled up my eyebrows, put a little bit of eyeshadow on, put my mascara on and I'm just going to do a little bit of contour with this iconic stick which I've had since like the age of 12. Um, I didn't really want to do with it until I watched TikTok and they told me to dab a brush on it and then put it on your face rather than drag the stick down so that's what I shall do. Like so. And still my favourite my favourite blush ever, the Beauty Pie blush. And that is the final look for today. I'm going to do a corally lip, but then I'm going to go for like an all black look today. So a little pop of colour on the lip. I'm going to bouncy blow dry my hair and I think I'm going to wear like a little headband. Like a little black headband. I have just thought mid blow drying my hair I forgot to pack my fireball. Like I had so many little miniature fireballs I was going to take in my jacket up the mountain for, for when I get scared to just like take one or ten. I have forgot to pack it. <laughs> Cry, cry. So, we're going to have to find something else because there's no way that I will be going on the mountain without some Dutch courage. So, annoying. We'll try it. It's done. Now, head accessory time. So, I've not done like the front bits yet because I want to see how they sit when I put this headband on. Like a middle parting or what the situ is. Ooh. And like, do you cover the ears? Do you not cover the ears? That's it. At least my um outfit that I die in will be cute. And at least when I'm whizzing past everyone so fast on the mountain, they'll just get a big whiff of Chanel. Or all the kids in the nursery slope. And this is the final look with the horrible light right above me. Obviously, I got my black jacket too on top. Okay, I'm ready. Look at me go! Well, we done it. We went down the nursery slope, so we've ordered a bottle of Mirabelle to celebrate. And that is me, done for the day. <laughs> this is the hotel bar that I'd mentioned. Cute seats, amazing views. Oh, a little fire pit. Day two at the mountains, still got all my limbs intact and Darren says I was, what do you call me, speed, speedy, speed demon, totally in control, went down my first run, didn't fall, can't complain, look at the views, stumbled across this little, this little bar in the middle of the mountain so I went Darren just leave me here and he can go do his lessons so Darren's literally leaving me in the middle of the mountains. He's got to find his way back to me in a couple of hours, so I've got a glass of rosé on order and I'm just going to sit here and enjoy the sun and maybe watch some people fall and have a nice little giggle. Well, we made it down the last little green run and I literally felt like I was going like 50 miles an hour. Darren videoed me and I was probably going about 2 miles an hour. 
if that quite pathetic but didn't fall so we'll try again tomorrow when we pick up the speed Darren done some jumps today so basically he's going to the Olympics but for now we're just going to chill out have a bottle of rosy wine enjoy the sun it's weird how like we're up the mountains and it's like snowy and everything but it's like you could be in Spain like it's so warm very bizarre but I love it another successful day ended with a bottle of rosé and amazing views and amazing company. So beautiful. Well, good morning. Sorry if I'm extremely pale. I've just put all my SPF on and I'm looking a little bit like Casper the Ghost. Um, what I did notice this morning when I woke up was this big fat tan line across my forehead where I've obviously been having my little Headbands, which I thought looked so cute, turned out to be not so cute. <laughs> so that's a little bit inconvenient. So now I'm like, do I just continue to wear the headbands for the rest of the trip so no one sees the tan line or not wear them and try and blend it out? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, this morning we had a little bit of a slower morning. We weren't late or la anything last night, but we were so tired. Like we finished up. Um, skiing, as you saw, had a nice little bottle of rosé wine and came home, got changed and went out for cheese fondue. I will insert a clip because it was delicious. Far too much food, but we had like chips, bread, salad, meats, all to dip into the most creamy cheese fondue. It was very, very nice. Um, so after that, we were both just in such a food coma. We were like, let's just go to bed. So we came back to the room, it was like half past ten, came to bed, watched some French programme on the telly, and then went to sleep and had a little bit of a lie in this morning. Um, so got up about nine, went for breakfast, we're both just like showering now and getting ready. Darren's got a ski lesson in an hour, and an hour's time, for an hour. So I'll probably, once again, just sit in a bar and wait for him. But I think the plan today is, so my skiing so far has been not too bad what freaks me out the most is the people that are zooming past you like i nearly got taken out by a, snow by a snowboarder yesterday who was just like bombing it down a green which i'm like you should have a bit of courtesy here there's like beginners trying to go slowly and take their time doing their turns he literally was out like, oh, right past me i actually screamed um <laughs> So yeah, that's what's making me most nervous, is that I can't focus fully on trying to do what I'm supposed to be doing, because I'm like also trying to avoid people. Um, so I think the plan today is, we basically went up to the top of the mountain yesterday and I went down a really long green. Some bits were really quite steep and I was literally shouting to Darren, where's the green? We're not on a green, where's the green? And he was like, Rachel, this is the green. I was like, God. Um, but we got down without falling, there was just a few little wibbly moments. Um, so I think the plan for me today is to stick to the really, well not, it's like semi-steep, really long wide run and just do that over and over and try and get used to picking up the speed whilst turning. Because at the minute I'm doing like quite long turns um, to slow myself down, but I don't mind going fast. So I'm thinking today I can get used to the speed, try and turn a little bit quicker and then venture up the mountain and do that green run again. So that's the plan for my skiing. There has been such good progress, like compared to when we went to snow bombing, I literally had a full on panic attack before even putting on my skis based on the prior trip being such a disaster. Um, so definitely feel a lot more confident. I don't feel nervous putting on skis anymore. I feel pretty confident and in control. I know what I'm doing. It's now just like trying to progress. So I'm very proud of myself actually. And as is Darren, Darren was like cheering me on going to the mountain. Um, and Darren is doing gr really great as well. Like he's doing his lessons and he was doing jumps yesterday and like going down really hard runs and stuff. So he's thoroughly enjoying himself. Um, but yeah, today there's also like this big, like, sledge toboggan thing which i think we're going to try that out so we basically get the gondola to the very top of the mountain it's like a double sledge thing with like brakes and things like that so i think we're going to try that out and i'll try and vlog it but i feel like it goes pretty fast um so we'll see um there's also this place here called the folly do or folly douche whatever and there's like 
they're like super like famous and well known and they're dotted around lots of different ski resorts but the only run down from it is a red which I think is quite unfair um, because if you're a beginner and not that confident like how are you supposed to get down like there's a pedestrian but you can walk down but I think it would be such a trek so quite disappointed by that but we found another bar which is like halfway up the mountain which also does like DJ sets and stuff like that so maybe venture back there today just have a little bit of the Apri vibes um but yeah that's planned for today so I'm gonna go get ready I'm thinking less makeup today a little bit more natural I've already got my SPF on so I'm gonna blend out this little bit of a tan line here <laughs> Day three, outfit number three. I actually have my Sarah Pets on, but they burst. Well, they didn't burst, this bit just fell off that would attach to this bit. So we're just going to overlay with the jumper. <laughs> I think it's an earmuff day. I actually haven't done my hair, but I thought it looked quite cute just with like a messy ponytail. And obviously my ski jacket. So I'm ready to go. First of all, I'll have a little coffee and glass of wine while we wait for dad in. And then let's get skiing. Today's little pit stop while I wait for Dad. Can't see a thing, so I've got these glasses on. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Little go. Right, ready to go down a run. Let's do this. Nice big turn here Rachel, with speed, with speed, lean forward, big turn. made it down the run and if I do say so myself I was great <laughs> I was good not gonna lie we've now stumbled across an igloo bar what the heck in the middle of the mountain so we've got to have a Prosecco and a beer and a flugel and um, we're just loving it up really I am feeling pretty feeling pretty smug oh yeah look at this you see like so cool and I didn't even fall but I did sit down at one point I got very I got very scared because it was very lumpy bumpy and steep and I just sat down to just because I was scared <laughs> and then couldn't get back up again but we made it so we're nearly at the bottom loving life to be honest how could you not in these surroundings I would take this view over any beach view any day of the week. <laughs> you may be wondering, Rachel, what is on your head? And you may be wondering, Darren, what is on your head? <laughs> Darren got his matching bucket hats. Yeah, funny ones. For the holiday. Yeah, they're like teddy. Goodness. How do we look? We stopped off at a second igloo bar, which all have little rooms. So you can stay in, which is in a, in a restaurant, which is insane. But yeah, very nice. Bottle of rosy wine, 30 euros, can't complain. Living a life in our bucket hats. Darren just made us walk up like the entire mountain. <laughs> because the chairlift was so busy. And he was like, Rachel, it'll be so much quicker if we just walk up the mountain. I will eat my food. And he was like, Rachel, just walk up, it'll be so much quicker. And I literally felt no, like I was, hard. it was pretty hard. I felt like I was in an episode of SAS. We, like my lungs were crying for help. I don't know how Dana managed because he was carrying both my skis and his skis. We got to the top and I was like, kill me now. So we've got a beer and a rosé, onion soup and a cheese toastie to refuel. But my God, it was hard. Dinner al fresco with the most amazing view. It's 
our last day. <laughs> I'm so sad. I never thought I would see the day when I am sad to leave a ski holiday. Yesterday, I'm not sure when I left you, but we basically... I think I left you when we found the, um, the pubs up the, up the mountain. So basically, with a good old bit of liquid courage, I bombed it down the hills. And I'm not even lying when I say I was actually bombing it. Like, before when I thought I was going fast and looked back at the film footage, I was going almost stationary. This time, Darren filmed me and I was actually going quite fast. But I'm very, very pleased with the progress. Like, for someone who had a full-on panic attack last year putting on skis, and for someone who tumbled down the mountains a few years prior, I'm actually doing well and proud of myself. So, today's our last day and we're just going to go have some fun skiing and hopefully get a little bit better so that when we come back next year, I will be fully confident just to like get straight on the slopes. So, I'm ready in my gear, just basic black and white outfit today. Got this little headband on and got it for me from ASOS. Um, again, no makeup day today, just a little bit of bronzer and that's it. So Darren's finishing up his ski lesson just now. I'm going to go meet him at the hotel bar and off we go. First stop of the day, little restaurant at the top of the mountain. There's the town all the way down there. Well, we just finished up lunch at that beautiful spot at the top of the mountain and now I'm on the gondola back down to safety Well, Darren skis down because it's only hard reds that go down to the bottom um, So I got the gondola up and then I'm going to get the gondola back down I had a little bit of fear that what happened to me in teams was going to happen here when they say No sorry, you can't get back down on the gondola, you have to ski down But thank goodness, that's not the case So I'm just enjoying the beautiful scenery going down the mountain and I'll get down and back down at safety and then I think we're going to try some more green runs for me. Well we're home, that's the trip over and we are home sadly. What a little round head I have today. <laughs> um, yeah we had to, we came home and we flew, flew to Edinburgh but some idiot had a drone that they were flying over the airport so they had to shut down the whole airport. We had to fly to Glasgow, wait on the plane and then fly back to Edinburgh so that was such a pain in the bum because we were obviously we were up at four had to drive down the mountain in the morning and then it was just such a long day so we came home slothed around um unpacked and all that jazz and I've just not had a chance to end the vlog um but yeah I really hope you enjoyed um coming on the ski trip with us I thoroughly enjoyed myself surprisingly and we're already planning on going back. We've literally been sitting looking at hotels. I think I'm going to go back for my 30th with some friends. Um, now I'm a professional skier. So now I've been looking at proper ski gear. I've got my Aunt Celine goggles, the perfect moment jacket. <laughs> then I was like, calm down Rachel, calm down. <laughs> um, anyway, there's been lots going on in the house and today is the day where the living room gets started. So I'm just sitting waiting on the joiners arriving. Paneling is getting done, painting is getting done, there's been lots of things going on. So in next week's vlog I will update you with everything. So don't forget to subscribe if you want to see what we get up to. And our next trip is only three weeks away, so it is very much full on. So I'm not even putting the cases away, I'm just keeping them out. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.